Hey, John, it's Vlad. Uh, I have prepared a short video on OpenStack Contrail, something that I know we were looking when you were at Beto Club. So uh, let me show what, what I have here. So I created a, a JC project. Currently, that project has no VMs. And also, there is a, like one uh, virtual network with this uh, IP address. Uh, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate uh, creation of VM using uh, a an Ansible playbook and also live uh, migration of, of that VM. So here I have, this is my VM basically from my virtual space. I have a few files. One of them is uh, launch JC Ubuntu. Let me quickly show you what, what's there. So launch a VM, state present, resource present, then some basic uh, authentication stuff, a name of the VM that's going to be assigned, uh, image, image is important thing. So clans image list so you will see that i have uh, a ubuntu uh, server ubuntu cloud image and this is its uid i'm using that uid here and also you see net id net id is the id of that virtual network that i created in your project so nova net list here it is 587JCNet. And also I'm requesting a floating IP from the pool of floating IP addresses so that this VM can reach the internet. So let me run this playbook. Okay, let's see what happens here. If I refresh this window, the the VM is being created right now. Uh, IP address have been allocated from that subnet that we have. I'm waiting for this process to, to, to be finished. And also I'm expecting a floating IP to be allocated from the pool of floating IP addresses. That would be this 10.26 range. So it takes like a few seconds for this to finish. Here we go. Let me just refresh the screen. And here it is. A floating IP address have been allocated. If I look into projects and network topology, we can see that here is the VM and it's active in JCNet 333.0. The other network actually is floating IP pool. So that looks good. Now let me log on to your VM. I have all the login details already pre-configured. So this is your VM, floating IP. Uh, I'm using a cloud key that I need to use basically when I launch cloud image. And this is default username for the first login so here we go i'm accepting this and let's see if we can reach the internet control is supplying ip dp uh, ip uh, dns uh, proxy dns for uh, resolution of of, uh, of the names and yes the 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 
the VM can reach the internet. So now uh, I'm going actually to ping from my VM uh, your VM as I want to perform a live motion. So Nova list, let's see, basically, uh, this is what I need, UID of the uh, of the VM that has just been launched and history crap live you will see that I've done this like 1000 times and here we go so interesting thing here is let me again point this out so you see we have two compute nodes in our control st uh, cluster. One of them is TLAPP09, the other is TLAPP13. Currently, this VM lives in TLAPP09 compute node. So I'm going to request that it gets moved to TLAPP13. And let's observe what happens with the pings. So very quick, seems rather a quick migration. And yes, I already see. So there is, right, there is one outlier. And here we go. There is this outlier. So just to be certain, I'm going to refresh this page. And you see here it's on TLAPP 13. So we move the uh, VM from one compute node, physical compute node, to another physical compute node. So basically that's it. What I'm going to do now is delete your VM. I hope you won't mind. So Ansible Playbook, delete JC Ubuntu. And let's see what the result is. Okay, seems to have done the job. Yes, so you see no more VM in that virtual subnet. It's basically gone. And I'm getting now outage, so yeah, the pings stopped. So the reason I'm doing this video, I'm going to do another video, uh, probably not tonight, on service chaining. So how to connect two virtual networks and put virtual SRX in between. I have heat templates. Uh, Ready Heat is, is part of OpenStack that is responsible for orchestration. So in literally a few commands, we can get a VSRX instance to be spawned and connect to virtual networks. Another thing also very interesting is a VMware integration. So Control 3.0 is coming out this week. Uh, the plan is, once it's out, to uh, to install it, to upgrade the version that we currently have, and to try to integrate using option 3. So option 3 is becoming available in Control 3.0 to have actually OpenStack and Control to uh, control two different hypervisors, KVM and also to see VS, v center as as a hypervisor so two different hypervisors to be controlled from openstack and control so this option three is becoming available now in uh in control 3.0 also another thing very interesting is a this white paper on using control with OVSDB in top of rack switches. So basically how to extend virtual networks from uh, all the way to, to bare metal servers and to, to the application that cannot be virtualized. So with this, 
uh, the solution is complete as virtual networks now can be extended to, to bare metal servers. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll let you know when I do this second video. Thanks. Bye.